Welcome to Swagger's Lifestyle. I met Whitney uh, in 2017 through a friend. Uh, funny enough, it was actually a, a date. I happened to be the third wheel on that date. Uh, my friend wanted to take uh, her out and I went out with them. I met her there. We spoke. Likely she claimed that I hit on her. But you hit on me, you did. He hit on me when he went to urinate. When he went to ease himself. Me? You, 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 you. No, I didn't go to urinate. No. Oh no, your friend now. Okay, when? Yeah. And you said my hair was nice. I mean, like, I, I, I was just being nice. Her hair was actually nice before the record. Me, I did not eat on I was just being nice. <laughs> and, um, well, at the end of the night, I, I actually hit up. I looked up on Facebook and hit up. We started talking and we met. After that, uh, we met more times. We went on dates and we got to know each other. We got closer. And, yeah, she became the love of my life. I said, you know, I was just chatting about and just talking about nonsense. It was actually, you know, I enjoyed it. She said enjoyed. you had a crush on Rihanna on that day, so we have to. <laughs> it was easy to talk with her. Um, subsequently, when we saw other times, it was really easy to, you know, it was it was natural with her. Um, it was easy to just say anything. It was easy to be myself. It was easy, you know, to be a fool. And yeah, she just she accepted everything and we had a fun time all through. I really got to, you know, like her and love her because she has a she has a really beautiful spirit and she has a very kind heart and she was always, you know, kind to me, always welcoming to me. And she showed me her real self aside, you know, all the glow and the glam. And it was yeah, it was it was it was something I wanted to just be with, you know. I wanted to have that and, you know, whenever I want it, I can just hold on to it or call, uh, and not hold, yeah, hold on to it and rest my head on it or whatever, yeah. I had that and, yeah, I didn't want to let that go, so I, I decided to be that sharp guy. <laughs> uh, I think what made him really stand out was um, his, like he said, it was just so natural with him at first, you know, I just took him as my friend. I think. When he even reached out to me, I just felt like, okay, me and this guy, we will just be friends. We're just so free with each other, so cool. You know, normally when a guy is coming for, for you, there's a way you form. And, but with him, it was just so natural, like we're just friends. And I didn't even know when I was there falling for him. Like, it just took me, like, on our ways. I didn't know. So that's how I knew that, okay, yes. He's the one because everything was just so natural. I could be goofy with him. Just, he didn't like. He just loved me the way I was. So that was what made him to stand out, and that was what made me to fall in love with him. 
I was actually friends over a period. Uh, I think we met uh, November 2000. <coughs> excuse me, 2017. Um, we didn't start dating till March. Yes, till March. That's long, that's long, so you might say that's not long. <laughs> well, I think I just wanted to be sure, you know. Um, I wanted to see something different. You know, it's one thing to say you like me, I want to see it. I want to see that um, behavior. And I saw it, he showed me in every, you know, little way. Things I see in my, should I, can I call my wife? Of course. The only thing I see in my wife. She is, uh, she's very hardworking, she's very supportive. Um, when she sets her mind on something, she must get it. If she says, okay, I want this, I want this to be like this, she's going to do everything she needs to do. Everything, um, you know, cross up every obstacle. She's going to slap everybody she needs to slap <laughs> to get there and, you know, do that. And <laughs> I admire that a lot because she pushes me she pushes me a lot, even when, you know, when I might feel like, okay, I won't be able to do this, she would always make sure that, oh, I remember, you know, who I am and where I'm from and why I want to go to where I'm going. And yeah, so she, she actually is a rock. Really, you know, the unique things <laughs> about you is you are very compassionate, you're very kind, you're very loving. You put everybody else before you. You put me before you all the time. You know, and I really, really love you and I appreciate that about you. So I think, you know, that <laughs> I don't want to cry. <laughs> but he's he's so amazing. He's so amazing. You know, not only just you know the material things, you do so much more for me. And you always put me before you, always, and that's amazing. So, I really love it. I love it. I want, I want a happy home, and I, I see a happy home. I keep telling her that, you know, there's this whole uh, talk on uh, once she get married, things are going to change. It's not going to be like your brother. I always tell her that she's forever my babe. So whatever all this one is, like, you're forever my babe. I want twins, by the way. She oh. knows, so please, twins, so. twins. Um, please, you will give birth to the twins yourself. No, no problem. problem. You know I'm running. No, wahala. Sure. I know I'm going to be happy. I know because I know I've picked the right partner for life. I'm looking forward to you know spending the rest of my life with him. To thank, first off, our parents want to thank uh, Dr. Bernard Bay, my father-in-law. Huh? Oh, the 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 G. Yes, and my and my mom, um, uh, Mama Bay, and I also want to thank my mom, my dad. John and Julian Obiana, uh, they've really been like a huge support throughout all this. Also want to thank you know everyone that has been involved in the planning. Want to thank everyone for coming to celebrate us. We love you all. Thank you. God bless you.